Hi friends, this web's lesson video tutorial, on how to make student attendance system in PHP, and in this part we have start discussing grade management module. In previous part, we have covered admin login module, with complete validation, now in this part, we will discuss load grade data on web page in data table, add new grade, edit existing grade and delete grade data. Here we can see grade table, with two table column like grade ID and grade name, this master data, which will be only managed by admin user only. This grade.php page, on this page first we have write include statement with header.php. After this on this page, we have create on table with id is equal to grade table. In this table, we have create three table column like, grade name, edit and delete. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, for load grade data in jQuery data table. For this, here we have write, data table variable is equal to, dollar with table id grade table with data table method, this method will initialize jQuery data table. Under this data table method, we have write processing option set to true, this is feature control the processing indicator. Then after, we have write second option server side option set to true, this option will enable data tables in server side processing mode. Now we have write order option with blank array value, this will initial remove table order from table column. Now we want to load data, from grade table by using Ajax in data tables, so we have define Ajax option, and under this we have first write URL set to grade action.php. In second Ajax option, we have write type, and here we have write post, so post method we have used for send data to server. In third Ajax option, we have write data, here we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write action variable with fetch value. So, here our jQuery code is ready. Now we have go to grade action.php file, and here first we have write include statement with database connection.php, it will make database connection. Below this we have write session start function, it will start session on this page. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, is set function with dollar post action, if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write, if statement with condition like dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from grade table. After this we have write, if statement and under condition we have write, is set function with dollar post search value variable, if tis condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, dollar query variable, and under this we have append query like where grade name like dollar post search value variable. Now we have write, if statement, 
and under condition we have right, is set function with dollar post order variable, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable, and under this we have append query like, order by dollar post order variable with zero index with column variable. And dollar post order variable with zero index with directory variable, this block will execute if user sort table column data. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar query variable, and under this we have append query like order by grade ID in descending order. For data table pagination, here we have write if statement and under condition, we have write dollar post length variable value is not equal to minus one. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write dollar query variable, and in this we have append query like limit dollar post start variable, and dollar post length variable. Now we have write, dollar statement variable is equal to, dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. After this we have write, dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result. For store data, here we have defined dollar data variable is equal to array. Below this we have write, dollar filtered rows variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with row count method, this method will return no of rows affected after query execution. Now we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar row variable, by using this loop, it can fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop, we have write, dollar subarray variable is equal to array. Under this variable we will store data temporary. Below this, we have write, dollar subarray variable is equal to, dollar row grade name variable, it will store grade name data. After this, we have write, dollar subarray variable is equal to button type is equal to button name and class is equal to edit grade id is equal to dollar row grade id variable in button text we have write edit we will use class as selector in jquery code and fetch grade id value from id attribute in jquery code same for delete button, here we have write dollar subarray variable is equal to, button type is equal to button, name and class is equal to delete grade, id attribute is equal to dollar row grade id variable. In button text we have write delete, we will use class as selector in jQuery code, and fetch grade ID value from ID attribute in jQuery code. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to subarray variable, it will store all dollar subarray variable value into dollar data variable. After this, we want to get total row of grade table, for this we have go to database connection.php file, 
and here we have make function get total records with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar table name under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from dollar table name variable here we have make dynamic select query below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable it will make query for execution for execute query we have write dollar statement variable with execute method it will execute query lastly we have write return statement with dollar statement variable with row count method it will return number of rows affected after query execution now we have go to grade action dot php and here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array with first key draw value set to dollar post draw variable In second key we have write, records total value set to dollar filtered rows variable, in third key we have write records filtered. And it value get from get total records function with two argument like dollar connect variable and grade table name, and in last key we have write data with value get from dollar data variable. So, this way we have store data under dollar output variable for send this data to ajax request in json format here we have write echo statement with json and code function with dollar output variable now we have check output in browser friends first we have login into admin account so here we have enter admin as username and in password field we have enter password and click on login button so here we can see different menu on web page so we have click on grade link after click on grade link on web page we can see grade table data on web page in data table here we can see different data table functionality like searching, pagination, sorting any more other, no we will see how to add grade data. In this part, we have covered grade module, first feature like load grade data in jQuery data table, in next we will discuss next feature like add or insert grade data. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.